Hey guys, what's up YouTube? Welcome to a new video. In this video, I want to speak with you about one of my hobbies, um, just to make it a little bit more entertaining. And uh, that hobby is motorcycles. So I've been riding motorcycles for like, let's say 15 years now. And um, during this whole period of time, I've been trying different types of motorcycles. And especially I was, I was, I was trying different types of motorcycle gear you know such as helmets jackets all that stuff which you need for riding in the city uh, riding uh, for long journeys so basically i have like the whole range of goods and uh, gear for riding my motorcycle if you're interested in that guys just please leave your comments below ask your questions and in the further videos i can give you a little bit more for your view of uh, what kind of gear i use uh, how was my experience so far but today today i want to speak with you about helmets so here i have my helmet and as you can see i'm 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 i'm, I'm riding in showy helmets so i prefer this one i am in general big fan of japanese gear so uh, japanese safety for me is number one in the motorcycle world so <clears throat> over my uh, years of experience I was trying like Schubert's it's like German one I've been driving I've been riding in uh, Shoei, Arai, Suomi uh, like those type of helmets also I tried Shark which I honestly at that point I did not like um, and over like this period of time over like all of those journeys which I had as a gain in the city and uh, traveling around the Europe I came up with the with understanding that Shoei is the brand which I like the most and there are like really a uh, few simple reasons for that. Number one it is uh, Shoei in, in the world of helmets it's like Toyota or Volkswagen in the world of uh, cars you know. So basically wherever you go, uh, wherever you travel to, you will be able to find parts for the Shoei helmet and the most Mm, let's say demanded part which you might want or might need during your journey number one it is visor you know that is visor for a helmet and then it can be pin lock for a helmet and then it can be uh, visor mount which is right here so these are the most popular things which you might want or might need to replace on your journey of course if you don't have um, let's say spare parts with you uh, especially if you're traveling to Europe, you will be able to find those parts easily, either in stock or maybe next day delivery if you're staying in some hotel, so you just order it on Amazon or let's say Louis store and uh, it will be delivered very quick. Second one is uh, because just the way how it sits on my head, the way how it fits me, um, I feel pretty much comfortable. As you know guys, it's really important that blood circulation is going well if you feel that it's like pushing at some parts of your you know of your scalps after some time you you have a headache so if you're gonna drive if you're gonna ride for let's say five hours in a day or eight hours journey during the day so in the end of the day you're gonna have a nightmare with your head you're gonna feel the pain so if you don't want to do that so you feel number one you must make sure that it fits you perfectly and for me Shoei was the choice you know it's kind of um the way when, when you feel it's naturally fit in your head so you don't really need to adjust it you don't really need to do anything if you're watching this video from usa you you might also consider ogk ogk is another japanese brand they're doing really nice job because <clears throat> they actually producing internal fitment let's say for the helmet uh, for different uh, head types or forms so basically you can order one of those and uh, you can find the one which will fit yours the best. Um, number three, uh, I would say it is a price point. So Shoei is, let's say, in terms of safety, it is the same level as a Rai, but it's in most of the cases it's like 100 150 dollars or euros cheaper than um, than ri but you get in the same quality you get in the same safety you get in the like the same top level japanese standard in terms of you know safety and um, 
noise cancelling. So noise is another reason why I choose in Shoei because you feel it's silent inside. One of the most important things about helmet, I would say, it is ventilation. So even in very hot weather, for me, Shoei performs the best in comparison to all other brands. Again, it really depends on how it fits on your head, you know, how tight it is, because um, depends on that, you understand how much noise you get, your, you feel how much, um, how efficient ventilation is. And uh, that was one of those reasons where after trying like several helmets, I was just okay, Shoei will be, you know, Shoei is what I need. I feel okay, my head is cooled, so I just, you know, i completely comfortable driving in this helmet. And also, <clears throat> one thing which I believe Shoei was one of the first ones uh, to came up with, um, they supply their helmets with, um, with the shields, which are, I don't know if you see that, with, yeah, with the pin lock system. So pin lock system is really efficient. Different manufacturers call it differently. For example, Suomi calls it anti-fog. That system allows you to keep your visor clear in different weather conditions. So it doesn't matter whether it's it, uh, rainy outside, um, if it's early morning or late night. So you have this anti-fog system, which uh, makes your vision clear at almost at any weather condition. Shoei was number one brand 12 years ago when I moved to Shoei, uh, who actually supplies their helmets with this system, like those premium brand, which has this as a standard option. And of course, one of the most important things, speaking of visors or shields for a helmet, depends how you, how you wanna call it in your country, it is mount. So basically the system which Shoei has, this system is one of the best in the market, I would say. It's easy, it's reliable. If it's Arai or if it's a Suomi helmet, that is the biggest problem is how you mount, how much time you spend to mount your, um, to mount your shield to the helmet. And with this Shoei, it is not a problem at all. It's easy, it's reliable, so it's never break, it breaks, uh, but, Speaking of Arai and um, let's say Suomi, that's been one of the issues which almost everyone has. And um, can you imagine whenever you travel long distance, you want to change your uh, visor, it can be different reasons for that. And then you have your um, mount broken and then you're in the middle of the way. So you're, you just don't know where to go. You don't know where to buy it. And then sometimes, um, you know, to find it and to buy it can be an issue as well. So that's why I'm saying that all of those things which I mentioned before, so you can find it anywhere, you can find parts anywhere, it's comfortable, ventilation is good, and um, internal lining is good as well, it fits perfectly. So all of those things makes me uh, in favor of choosing Shoei helmet over the years. So I've been, I've been riding in different Shoei models. My favorite ones are um, top of the line, uh, this one X12, I've been trying X14 and uh, I'm gonna replace this one with, uh, with the next generation of Shoei, so I don't know whether it's gonna be X14 or X16 or X15, so I'm just waiting when next one can come to the market because I bought this helmet right before they issued, um, they released uh, X14, so I don't really want to change it, uh, but when next one is coming to the market, I'm gonna buy it and of course, uh, within um, their top model line, I was also try I was also riding in GT Air, uh, which is really nice touring helmet, and I would really advise you if you're if you go in long distances. So GT Air will be one of the choices. Let me know, guys, if you're interested to hear what what do I use for my daily drive or what do I use for long distances. Uh, I will be happy to tell you because I want to make this channel a little bit more entertaining. I want to give. Um, I want to bring here more value in terms of uh, not like just business stuff, but also uh, give your uh, a little bit more content on um, some joyful stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Again, I really appreciate your likes. I really appreciate your subscriptions because it's going to give me some motivation to keep going. 
and also ask you questions because your questions might be a subject for the next videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you next video. Bye.